Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded circle fully inscribed uh, in a blue square C, D, E, F, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, diagonal line uh, C, P passes through this uh, green circle. And as a result, this uh, A, B is the chord. And moreover, the center O of this uh, circle is uh, 3, comma 3. And this uh, segment uh, length uh, PD is 2 units. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this chord length uh, AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, point uh, C. I'm going to label this one as the origin uh, 0, 0. And since the center is 3, comma 3, so that means uh, this uh, radius uh, of this circle is going to be 3 this way and likewise this way as uh, well. So therefore, uh, the radius uh, is uh, 3 units. Then we conclude that this uh, whole uh, side length CD is going to be 3 plus 3 is going to make it uh, 6 uh, units. And since we are dealing with this uh, square, so therefore if this side length is 6, uh, then all these uh, side lengths uh, of this blue square are going to be 6 uh, across the board. So therefore I can label uh, this point F uh, as uh, 0, 6 this E as 6, 6, and finally this point D as 6, 0. And now let's make an observation. We can see in this uh, triangle uh, CDP, this uh, segment uh, is 2, and this uh, segment uh, CD is 6. And now let's recall the slope as defined uh, as uh, rise uh, divided by run. And in our case, uh, our rise uh, is uh, 2 and our uh, run uh, is uh, 6. So therefore, uh, this uh, rise is uh, 2 and run is 6. So 2 divided by 6 uh, is going to give us, uh, if we reduce it, that is going to give us 1 over 3. So thus the slope uh, of this uh, line uh, CP turns out to be 1 divided by 3. And now let's recall the slope uh, intercept form y equal to mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. And we can see that this uh, slope uh, m is 1 divided by 3 same as uh, this one and our y intercept b is uh, 0. So therefore uh, the equation of this uh, line uh, CP turns out to be y equals to 1 divided by 3 times uh, x. And now let's multiply by 3 both uh, sides to remove this uh, fraction and we can see that this 3 and 1 third is gone. So therefore 3y uh, turns out to be equal to x. Now I'm going to move this 3y on the other side. So therefore we are ended up with uh, x uh, minus uh, 3y equal to 0. And here's our next step. I have dropped this uh, perpendicular OM on this uh, line uh, CP. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius uh, of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. So therefore, we conclude that uh, this perpendicular OM is going to bisect uh, this whole chord uh, AB into two equal parts. Here, uh, segment AM equals to this segment uh, BM. And now I am going to label uh, this perpendicular OM uh, as uh, lowercase uh, d, where d stands for the distance uh, between uh, this center O and this uh, line uh, CP. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, distance uh, D. And now let's recall the point uh, line distance uh, formula, which is right uh, here, where the line uh, equation is uh, AX plus BY plus C equal to zero, and the point uh, P is uh, X1, Y1. 
and in our case uh, the equation of our line is x minus 3y equal to 0 and our point uh, p which is the center is uh, 3 comma 3 so therefore our a value is going to be the coefficient of x is 1 the b value is uh, negative 3 the coefficient of y and c value is uh, 0 over here and likewise our x1 value is 3 and y1 value is 3 as well and now we are going to calculate the distance d by plugging in these uh, all values so distance uh, d is going to be the absolute value of uh, ax1 is going to be 1 times uh, 3 plus uh, b value is a negative 3 and uh, y1 value is uh, 3 plus c value is 0 all over the square root of uh, a in our case is 1 whole square plus b is uh, negative 3 whole square and if we simplify everything we can see at the numerator we got this absolute value of negative 6 uh, divided by square root of 4 10 and we can see the absolute value of negative 6 uh, is uh, positive 6 at the numerator so therefore uh, our distance uh, d turns out to be 6 divided by square root of 10 so therefore our distance d which is this uh, om length uh, turns out to be 6 divided by square root of 10 and in this next step uh, I have connected uh, this uh, center O with this uh, point uh, A and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, AMO and now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, AMO let's uh, make an observation we can see that this uh, AO is the radius of this uh, green circle so therefore this is going to be 3 units and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 3 our other two legs are uh, 6 divided by square root of 10 uh, and this uh, segment uh, am so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we are going to write down uh, am whole uh, square plus our b value is 6 divided by square root of 10 whole square equal to 3 square and now let's focus on this 6 divided by square root of 10 whole square if we take care of this one that is going to give us 36 divided by 10 and if we reduce this one that is going to give us 18 divided by 5 and now I am going to subtract uh, 18 divided by 5 from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore our am square is going to be equal to 9 minus uh, 18 divided by 5 and now let's focus on this uh, right hand side and here I have copied it down and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 27 divided by 5 and now we are going to undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides and here on the left hand side this square and square root is gone so therefore uh, am length turns out to be the square root of uh, 27 and the numerator is going to give us uh, 3 times square root of uh, 3 divided by square root of uh, 5 and now we are going to rationalize the denominator so therefore I'm going to multiply and divide by square root of 5 at the very same time and now we can see square root of 5 times square root of 5 is simply 5 so therefore our am length turns out to be 3 times the square root of 15 divided by 5 units and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, AB code length uh, is going to be twice of this uh, AM length so therefore I can write uh, AB length equals to 2 times uh, AM length and we know our uh, AM length is uh, 3 times uh, square root of 15 divided by 5 so therefore I am going to substitute that value over here 
as you can see in this uh, next step therefore our a b chord length uh, turns out to be 6 times square root of 15 divided by 5 uh, units so thus our chord uh, a b length turns out to be 6 times square root of 15 uh, divided by 5 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 4.65 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye